Hi, this is Highbridge Motor Homes Devon Branch and on an increasingly dark but nonetheless quite pleasant early December day and we're doing a quick walk around video on this absolute cracker of a late 2012 Autotrail Tracker EKS. So Autotrail been around since around about 1980, one of Britain's premium luxury motor home manufacturers. These days they do A-classes and van conversions as well but their stock and trade has always been comfortable, well specified, nicely finished luxury British market specified motorhomes. So this is a Tracker EKS which was one of the classic all-time motorhomes. It's a two berth end kitchen, spacious yet compact, comfortable and luxurious yet not stupidly priced um, 6.3 metre low profile. Uh, this one is on what at the time was described as the super low line chassis. Don't know why they did away with that because nowadays they've all got a bigger bulge but this was the uh, super low line chassis which is really good. I think maybe they're just starting to stop offering two different body shells just to ease production but I think this was a very attractive van. It's got the big panoramic front skylight. Uh, it's on the Euro 5 cab which came out in 2012 as well for the modern, modern dashboard. Uh, so it's in grey which is great as well. It's in iron grey metallic instead of the white which is just cosmetic but it sets it up nice. It's got these cool LED daytime running lights to the front there. Uh, 62 plates it's late 12 could be a 13 model could be a 12 model I don't know I don't think they changed anything to be fair um, all auto trails seem to suffer a little bit from graphic degradation on the bonnet that one has it's only a minor cosmetic you could take it off or take it to your local graphics company to replace but it's only a very minor thing apart from that bodywork on the front end's good it's had a stone chip on that little sticker there it's only a sticker though it's not the paint apart from that she's a good looking van it's got these mirror guard protective cases over the front, over the top of the uh, the actual wing mirrors. And if we're being picky, there's a little tiny little scratch there. It's nothing much. Um, we got marker lights over the cab. We got auto trails built in. It's got the SE pack. They've all got the SE pack, so it's got the built-in uh, two-lay Omnistore awning. You've got a gas locker down here for two gas bottles. I uh, don't think there's any in it because they changed for a caravan so they'll have swapped them over so if you have a part exchange you can swap your bottles over into this one on collection. This is under sofa storage. It's a very clean van this. You've got big under sofa storage there and then because this is a later tracker EKS there's another really good underfloor storage locker at the back. Fridge vents for your three-way fridge freezer. Still got the winter covers on which came as part of the SE pack. We've got a centrally locked habitation door at the back showing one very, very, very small little dent there but you can barely see it. Fresh water fill up point for your underslung fresh water tank. There's an underslung wastewater tank as well. And then this will be your gas barbecue point. So if you're a gas barbecuist, just get yourself a bullfinch barbecue point adapter, push your gas hose onto that and then you can run your gas barbecue from the gas bottles in your gas locker without taking one out. Coming around to the back of the van, so you've got auto trails trademark uh, rear wall mounted um, spare wheel you've also got a very expensive tow bar that's a bonus in fairness because you can put bikes on there if you're a cyclist you can put a, um, a, a rear mounted either storage box or bicycle rack on the tow bar and that's a proper tow truss tow bar as well so it's uh, not something someone's knocked up in a shed which is good now this is what i love i think this was new for 2012 I think someone will probably put in the comments that I'm wrong, but I think this was like a 12-13 model year thing. So you've got the RV style bunker storage, as they called it, and underneath there, this is, you probably can't quite see, but that goes right the way to the other side of the van, and it's a really good size storage locker, ski locker, so you'll get your chairs and your chocks and all your outside stuff, your barbecue can all go under there. Those things there are... Um, Silver thermal screens, decent ones by the look of it from around the front, so we've not checked them but they'll stay with the van. Dump point for your fresh water tank there, you've got a big grey water tank, waste water tank dump point there. Also down this side we've got your set for set toilet locker which is the one that's on the wheels with the handle built in. Oh corner check, we always do a corner check for condition. That's got a little surface crack on it. It's only literally in the GRP, but just had a very slight tap there. 
other corner is fine. I mean, around external shower, also part of the SE pack, really handy if you've got a dog, so you can just plug your. Uh, get a ball fin shower adapter, it might be inside somewhere, push it into there, turn it, you'll get hot and cold water. Flue for your gas and electric water heater and mains hookups. You've got mains hookups, single laser battery, uh, there's no solar panel on the roof, we can fit one if you want. So big front lounge windows, just flood your big comfy lounge with light. Got the odd little stone chip just in the graphics again. So it's the Fiat Ducato 2.3 130 horsepower multi-jet van of this size pulls really well. Remap it for more power if you want to, but you don't really have to. So it's got a Roadmaster switch there. That means it's actually they probably towed a little car on an A-frame, so uh, should have plenty of pulling power. Uh, this one. So we've got the Remis frame or one-piece even concertina blinds instead of having the frame down there like they used to. Electrically adjustable manual fold heated wing mirrors, central lock-in, lucky windows. You've got the Techno Silver Style Pack, which is the silvery dash bits. I'll have a look at the head unit on the inside. I can't see. It's a Pioneer head unit. Now, that's not standard. So around the back, I'd imagine there's a reversing camera around the back. I think there is. And that will feed into there. You've also got cab air conditioning, cruise control, and you've got the later all black much more modern looking dashboard which is good that came in in 2012 and ran well in Peugeot still runs today up on the roof you've got digital TV aerial up there let's just have a quick look back here and check for a camera I'm sure this will have a camera as part of the SE pack yeah cameras up there I do think that head unit's been updated which is no bad thing because um, the one auto trail will fit in in 2012 was a terrible Chinese thing that was really counterintuitive to use so that's got a pioneer in it which is much better so you open up your door we've got the door bin inside it was getting knocked off on the forecourt and it's still got its original auto trail umbrella another little auto trail thing and some like some nice little touches that just set auto trail apart now it's quite dark here it might not look it on the camera but that's why it's probably gone a bit grainy but Stepping inside the van, you've got a fly screen door, obviously you've got the electric step as well. You step into what is the archetypal, simple British layout. So it's like a two berth caravan in reverse in many ways. So you've got, I mean this is 6.3 metres, it feels huge in here. There's more actual space in here than many, many other places. So you've got a huge six foot plus sofas on either side. You can pull this out to make the world's biggest double bed or you can pull them out into singles or use them straight up, oh, they are singles or just pull one side out, drop a backrest down and you've probably got almost got a double on one side and still leaving the other side out of it so it's so easy huge side mirrors which are lovely big curved panoramic roof light which is lovely and with the super low line body shell which this is you've got still got decent storage but it's all much more open up here so you've got deep side storage pockets Ah, there we go. So this is your head unit there. So yeah, it's got it's a much more modern head unit that. So that's quite a recent one. It's got Android Auto Play, Apple CarPlay. So that means you link your phone to this via Bluetooth. We can help you do this, and all of your apps, including your satellite navigation apps from your phone, will appear on that screen. So that means you can use them on that screen. So you're all fully. Uh, all fully hands free it'll do all your bluetooth your phone calls you can stream music stuff like that as well so that's a that's a really nice thing that so you got all your chargers and bits and bobs like that up there tv aerial up here ah, there we go a uh, brand new gas barbecue adapter there that's neat never been out of its bag by the look of it now up here is your auto trial infotainment tv thing but i think because the head unit's been updated that might not work because i think originally these ran through the old the old awful chinesey head unit but anyway we'll check that out with you but if not there's another tv point back here and for me i'd rather have my tv freestanding back here so i can sit there and look back and watch it so but that might still work i can't remember what year they changed that to be an actual tv rather than just a monitor that ran off of there in a very complicated manner anyway we can check it out for you really nice curved cabinet work it's a very good condition van this in fairness too. it doesn't feel like it's been knocked about or abused or anything like that it's a big side windows blinds blinds <laughs> fly screen <laughs> 
Uh, and then loads and flat floor all the way front to back, which is nice. Big work area there. Big work area back here. Factory fitted Daehu microwave. Got a roof mounted two way fan that will suck in air or extract air. Big oven. So you've got three gas burners, one mains electric. Looks like they have cooked in here a little bit. There's some like little signs of wear on there. A nice sink with a sink cover and a draining board. Tap there for your kettle. Plenty of high level storage. Big cupboards all the way around. Loads of big cupboards and drawers down here as well. Yeah, plenty of uh, plenty of space. And then before it gets completely dark, we've got a bathroom. Good. All the trail bathroom doors are always sticky. They're sticky when it's hot, they're sticky when it's cold. But nice thick, thick doors as you can see. Then yeah, in here we've got a lovely big bathroom with a separate shower. Look at that. Hollywood style mirror. And one, two storage cupboards and an opening skylight. So what more could you ask for there? Heating is provided by the venerable and bulletproof Truma. Uh, gas and electric fireplace with blown air so there's two heaters behind there one runs from mains electric if you're hooked up one runs from gas if you're not hooked up or you can even use them both at the same time if you want and if one stops working the other one will still work because they're completely different heater units and there's also a fan control on here so you can either use it just as a fire with the heat coming out there or simply put your fan to A for auto and the more heat you create the more it will circulate through the various blown air heat events and into your bathroom as well. Wardrobe, a good size wardrobe, plenty of hanging space up there, you've got your loose carpets for the van, that's the door bin. Yeah, that's it. So, from being picky, there's the odd little um, perishing on the bonnet graphic, like every auto trial out there. A couple of little stone chips, but it's 11 year old, so you've got to expect it to have the odd little cosmetic foible, it's nothing much. If I breathe really, really deeply, there is a slight smell of dog. The previous owner was a dog owner, but again, it's pretty mild to be fair, and this van's not been uh, not been valeted yet, so, well, not been properly valeted yet anyway. So, it'll come with a new MOT, with a major engine service, that's where we change everything all the oils filters liquids are all changed so you know carte blanche where you where you're starting from full habitation service our own 12 month warranty which is in-house with us that covers all factory fitted features on the vehicle parts and labor for a year that also includes damp and leaks which no other warranty provided by a dealer that i'm aware of does on a vehicle more than five or seven years old so it really is a fantastic warranty detailed working on handover on collection free night on the campsite next door afterwards so you can come down to us in Devon or Somerset if you prefer to pick up from there have a night on the campsite afterwards after your detailed instructional work in handover where we show you how to use everything uh, and then yeah then you can head off so this is the 62 plate auto trail tracker EKS at Highbridge Motorhomes Devon branch it's in lovely condition it's not done a lot of miles it's got all the right spec and colours and things like that on it and it's just a lovely van so give us a call 01626 832 792 uh, if we're busy doing videos out here give us a call direct on the mobile 07432 662 558 check us out on the hybridcaravans.co.uk website uh, or come and visit us we're literally exeter is there plymouth's there and the road just over there is the south devon expressway which is the biggest road in south devon and we're about five minutes after the m5 ends as well so dead easy to get to and come and see us and ask about this beautiful auto trail tracker eks thank you very much goodbye